everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a get ready with me for you guys. I'm actually in Columbus right now where I grew up for one of my really good friends wedding. And today is like the Hina night. So in like a lot of cultures, there'll be like a three night event for the wedding and today's like the girls night. So I'm gonna get ready for that and I'll just take you guys along, you know. Currently in my little sister's bedroom that is Parks and Recs behind me, so. So I think for my hair, I'm gonna straighten it first and then I'll get into like makeup. All right, so now that my hair is all straightened, I'm gonna move on to my makeup. Um, I'm gonna be like looking this way because I have like the mirror set up this way. So before we put any makeup on, I'm gonna put some sunscreen and I have this from Glossier. And I really like it, but I honestly want to try the super goop that everybody's been raving about, but I'm waiting till this finishes, you know, before I go purchase a new one. I also feel like I should explain that I am no... no I'm like literally not a makeup beauty guru person. Like I have no idea if any of the techniques I'm doing are remotely correct so if they're not then please correct me and be gentle because this is just how I learned how to do makeup. Sunscreen is all in the face. So after my sunscreen I usually like to put on concealer. I have this one from Glossier as well. It's not necessarily my favorite but like again with the sunscreen. I have it and I like to not really buy new products until what I have is completed. Especially if it's like good enough, you know, it might not be my favorite, but I'd rather just not be wasteful and just finish it and then move on to something new. So my lips are feeling a little dry, so I'm gonna put some lip balm on and I have this from Glossier. It's the rosebalm.com. I don't think I'm probably gonna put any lipstick on, so this will give me like a little pinkish tint, which will be nice to have for my look. Okay, and then we're gonna continue on. So for foundation, I have this Dior Air Flash. I really recommend this. Um, I got it a couple months ago. I am in 3W, whatever that means, 301. And this is like a spray-on one, so I use this brush. I have like this set that I got from Sephora a while ago, and so I'll spray on here. Let's see if I can do this. Usually I do this like over the sink. Okay, cool. Not too bad. And then I just, you know, put it on. I feel like I need to like do a Q&A or like talk to you guys about something because you're just watching me put on makeup and that's not really that fun or exciting. Do you want me to ask you some questions? Yeah. So my sister Delia here is gonna ask me some questions and that's what we'll do. So go right ahead, Delia. Um, also, maybe you should pop up on I'll, screen. I'll like, oh, I that. Okay. So people know who you are. This is my little sister Delia. She's uh, 14, right? Yeah. Let's just look up some questions. Yes. Let's do it. Ooh, this is a very interesting one. Okay, go Can for it. Can you do a split? No. Oh. <laughs> I am not that flexible. Uh, I wish I could. I don't even know how to do a back flip or a forward flip <laughs> or any of that stuff. Um, I could do a cartwheel when I was younger, but I don't think I can do one anymore, to be honest. And then my eyelids are like they eat up all the makeup that you ever put on them ever, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, so that's why I got this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I really like it. This is my second time purchasing this one. Um, have you ever visited a country outside your continent? Yes. What? I am a... Uh, <laughs> Palestinian and I have family in Lebanon, so I've been to the Middle East a bunch of times So that is out of the continent And also the The airports in Europe if that counts <laughs> and we all know that does not count But I guess technically I've been to Europe even though I've never actually stepped out of any of those airports before And that was on the way to the Middle East. So I guess I've only been to the Middle East besides the Ameri 
African, North American continent. Usually I like to like dab the eyeshadow primer. I don't know if this does anything, but in my mind it helps blend instead of using like a brush. I like to like use my fingers as much as possible to apply makeup, if you probably noticed at this point. Okay, so eyes have been primed. So for the party, I'm wearing this like blue abaya thing. So I'm gonna be extra and do some blue eyeshadow. I feel like I should cover this. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be extra and do some blue eyeshadow and have some fun with these colors. This is from Huda Beauty's Electric Obsessions line. To be honest, this is the only palette I have right now because my old palettes were old and I had to throw them out and I need to like replace my naked palette and get like a newer one. I don't know if I'll do the naked one again, but I wanna get like a basics uh, Palette. I think that's very necessary in my life to do so. So we're gonna be really fun and do this like electric blue color. Is that a powder? Yeah. Oh, this is very electric blue. Um, when was... Nice. Oh wait, what's the most ridiculous thing you went to the hospital for? Uh... Okay, I guess we're doing a story time. <laughs> uh, when I was in high school, um, we like barely had field trips. I don't even know if high schoolers even do field trips anymore. But I was in like the media classes and one of our field trips that I got to go on was to visit the local news station and then like go to the radio station. And it was like this whole day ordeal that we had planned out. And I was actually like really sick that week and I probably should not have gone to school that day but I really wanted to go on the field trip like you know media is all I wanted to do as a, an adult and this was my opportunity to like go to an actual news station which was like a big deal back then. And so I was like there's no way I'm gonna miss school for this and I go to school like sick and I probably should not have gone to school like I said. And we go to the first place, which is the new station, and like half an hour into the new station tour, I like totally pass out. And uh, I get up, like I think I, I'm like get into consciousness or whatever, I don't know, science it's words. And um, yeah, everyone said I was like passed out for like a couple of seconds and then I came to. And when I came to, they are like, we need to take you to the hospital. So then I like, I don't know if an, who took me to the hospital but then my parents have like work or something and so or maybe my dad was out of town I don't even remember but for some reason my aunt was the one who like had to come to the hospital and like check on me and so she checked on me and I like felt really embarrassed because I was I should I just like shouldn't have gone to school because I was sick so my body needed to rest but I had passed out in front of everybody and gone to the hospital so yeah they gave me some IV fluids and I was like fine a couple of hours later. I'm like, let's see what else I got. <laughs> what am I gonna do with these? <laughs> Damn, I should have really bought a new palette. I did not we think this through. If you want some of my stuff. Yeah, let me see what let's see what you got, deals. I've never done this look before, so this is why it's a struggle with us right now. <laughs> I got this uh, Estee Lauder palette. What is this? What did like I just do? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I have this that has like some blues. Okay, let's like, try that's this. About, that's about it. Okay, we're gonna try this little, this little palette. Let's see if this will be any better. I feel like I need to use a new uh... Oh god, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my makeup wipes. I will be back. <laughs> This is a like get ready with me failure. <laughs> but we're gonna hour. we're gonna do this. Okay. I'm gonna just reprime a little bit, just you know, make sure we're good here. This is like not pigmented at all. Do you have another palette? Um, not really. I have, like, 
some pellets in here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try this again with my Huda Beauty palette, and I'm just gonna go with this one, and then maybe put that in the crease, so it's not as intense. As I put it on, it's super pigmented. You know what, we're gonna just own the pigmented color. <coughs> this is what we're gonna do. And I'm going to clean this up with my makeup wipes, because it's like really bad. Um, do we like this? Is this a look? Let me see. I feel like we like this, but like I need something up top more. Um, you could just like highlight your brow bone and just be done with it. Oh yeah, it's a good idea. So we are done with eyeshadow. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have. But I'm gonna have fun editing that one. So for a highlight, since we're gonna highlight my brow bone and whatnot, I have Fenty Beauty's Unicorn. I love this highlighter. It's so much fun. I like the purple and the pigmentation. What was, when was the first time you went on a plane? Uh, I was almost one years old and one year, one years, one year old. One, 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 I was almost one <laughs> and um, I went with my mom to Lebanon, so that was the first time I went on a plane or on a flight was to Lebanon, so. You know what, we're gonna just go with this. This is gonna be my look, so. <laughs> after highlight and everything, then I'll do my bronzer. So I have like my little angled brush. Okay, so now I have to do mascara. I have this one um, from Too Faced. It's better than sex, but it's the waterproof version because, you know, I don't know. I'm a cancer. I might get emotional. Who knows what's gonna happen? And I'd rather be protected. This is makeup protection, you guys. So I'd rather be protected than be like, you know, mascara all over my face because that is not that cute of a look. Okay, so I just had to recently replace my boy brow. This is my favorite like makeup item ever because my brows are already like kind of there so like I don't need to do too much to enhance them and I don't like filling them in too much either because I feel like when it's really dark it just looks unnatural and I don't like that look. I like to have more of a natural looking makeup look. Probably because I don't know how to put on makeup so the less skill needed to do it the more likely I am to do it, and doing the natural makeup look takes very little skill. Doing like a really beautiful eyeshadow takes a lot of skill, as we clearly just saw, that I don't have that skill. So the simpler the makeup, the better, and this is a product that's really simple, and so that's why I really like it. Yeah, I just noticed, I was like, this. you can clearly see like my straight up eyelid without any makeup on right there. <laughs> yeah. Don't oh, this is so cute. Much. It's like Moon Child. These are all the different highlights. They're really pretty. So I'll probably do like blue eyes in the corners. Um, what was your first job? I worked at Giant Eagle Market District. <laughs> so I was a cashier and I was 18 years old, freshman in college, and I worked there until I got work study to work on campus. Okay, but that's pretty much it. I don't really need to do anything else for my makeup look. Do we like this? I don't know. We're gonna just go with it anyways. Also, look at my nails that I did, gotten done. Got did. Got did. Ugh, focus. Nope. It's not gonna focus. This video is just gonna remain a disaster. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> hair and makeup ready. Blush. We forgot blush. So, let's see what I got. Most of my blushes are from Glossier. So, you're probably like, why do you have so much Glossier? That's because my old roommate 
Anna, who I love very dearly, used to work there. And she basically would hook it up, so. Let's see, we have storm, we got dusk, and we got haze. I'm gonna go with dusk, because these two feel like too dark, you know? Also, if I'm like looking up, that's because I'm looking at the viewfinder instead of looking at the lens, which is a problem that I have, and I'm trying to fix this, so bear with me. It's still an adjustment to get used to looking at the lens. I feel like I have so much makeup on my face right now, and that's because I do. And I'm not used to it because I usually wear very minimal makeup or I don't wear makeup because I'm at home working most of the time so it's not like I need to see anybody. I'll just dab this and then I'll like try and uh... Okay, and we're done. This is the completed makeup look. I will get dressed and then you guys can see the full outfit look which I'll have Delia here film a little lookbook outfit look so we'll do that outside yes so we'll see you guys there <laughs>